this block represents 1,000. We could exchange 1,000 for 10 hundreds. It's the same as 10 hundreds. 1,000 equals 10 hundreds. 100 is the same as 10 tens. We could exchange 100 for 10 tens. One ten is the same as ten units. We could exchange one ten for ten units. This calculation is two hundred and thirty four. Subtract 13. So that is two hundreds, three tens, and four units. And we need to take away from that number one ten and three units. So if we look, if we start with the units, we need to take away three from four units. So four take away three leaves us with one. Now let's move on to the tens column. We have three tens and we need to take away one ten. So three tens take away one ten leaves us with two tens or 20. Now let's have a look at the hundreds column. We have two hundreds but no hundreds to take away. Two take away no hundreds leaves us with two hundreds and that gives us an answer of 221. Our next calculation is 200 and 36 subtract 127. So we have to take away 127 from 236. As last time, let's begin with the units column. We have got six units and we need to take away from six, seven units. Oh dear, we can't do that. How can we take away seven from six? We haven't got enough. But let's remember that one ten can be exchanged for ten units. That's going to help us with this calculation. Let's have a look at the calculation again. We can't take 7 away from 6. So I am going to exchange 110 from the tens column into 10 units that will go into the units column. So we now have two tens in the tens column and we have a ten and a six or sixteen units altogether in the units column. Now we need to take away seven from sixteen. We can do it. Let's take away seven from our sixteen. And that leaves us with nine units. 
Now we'll move on to the tens column. We now have two tens and we need to take away two tens. Two take away two leaves us with zero. And finally the hundreds column. We have two hundreds and we need to take away one hundred. One hundred from two hundred leaves us with 100. And there we have our answer, 109. Our next calculation is 235 subtract 162. As before, let's start with the units column. 5 subtract 2 is 3. That works. Let's move on to the tens column. We've got three tens and we need to take away six tens. Oh dear, how can we take away six from three? We haven't got enough. But we need to remember that we can exchange one hundred for ten tens. That's going to help us with this calculation. We have lots of hundreds. So looking at that tens column again, I am going to exchange one hundred for ten tens. So I now have one less hundreds in the hundreds column and I have ten more tens in the tens column. So my tens column looks like 13. I can now take 6 away from 13. And that leaves us with 7. Now we just need to do the hundreds column. I now have 100 in the hundreds column after the exchange and I need to take away 100. 100 take away 100 is 0. So my answer is 73. Go. Our next calculation is 306 take away 143. As before we start with the units column. 6 take away 3 leaves us with 3. Let's look at the tens column. We've got zero tens and we have to take away four tens. How can we take away four from zero? This is where we need to remember that we can exchange a hundred for ten tens. We have lots of hundreds in our calculation to be able to do that. So if I exchange a hundred from the hundreds column, our 300 becomes 200, and in my tens column, I now have 10 tens. So my tens column looks like 10. I can subtract 4 tens from 10 tens. That leaves me with 6 tens. And that just leaves us with the hundred column. Now I have 200, take away 100, and that is 100, giving us an answer of 163.